Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. This segment is a good one in which to point out that two minutes is a target time and not a hard and fast time. Workbench makes it easy to set up the units for a screw mechanism. It should be noted that while the screen indicates lead screw, it works equally well for both lead and ball screw. Moving through the setup screen from top to bottom, our first stop is at the gear ratio. Of course, if you have no gear ratio, this is set to none. If a gearbox or a gear head is used, we can simply enter the number of turns the motor makes compared to the output shaft. For example, if the ratio is 5 to 1, we can simply enter motor 5, load 1. Or if we want to be a little more creative, motor 115, load 23, which is still 5 to 1. If the gear ratio is achieved by a timing belt and pulleys, the number of teeth on the motor, pinion, and the load pinion can be counted, if not known, and entered for each. The range for the motor and load is 1 to 1,000. When setting up the screw, you will need to know the lead of the screw. The lead is how far the load will travel with one revolution of the screw, regardless of the gear ratio. The units for the lead are set in the custom position units. The available units are centimeters, or 1 one hundredth of a meter, millimeter, or 1 one thousandth of a meter, micrometer, or 1 one millionth of a meter, and nanometer, 1 one billionth of a meter, inches, and mils, which is 1 one thousandth of an inch. We are setting our units to millimeters. If you don't know the lead of your mechanism, you can always measure it. On my actuator, I have placed a piece of tape and a mark at the starting point. We could temporarily set our position units to degrees and command one revolution of the motor, or 360 degrees. We could then measure the distance traveled, which is the lead of the screw. If you have a gear ratio, don't forget to take that into account as part of the distance commanded. We enter this value in lead. In our example, the lead is 5 millimeters per rev. At this point, we can change our position, velocity, and acceleration to custom mechanical units. When we return to the motion task screen, we see that our position is in millimeters, velocity is in millimeters per second, and acceleration and deceleration are in millimeters per second per second. At this point, the motion tasks that are required for the application can be created and run. The unit screen takes a lot of the work out of setting up a mechanism. The more you work with it, the more intuitive and fun it becomes. Check out our next segment when we set up a conveyor system. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I'll see you next time.